So we're going to do one more example, another transfer function example with MATLAB. And this is going to be the last on this topic for now, and we're going to move on to some other stuff. So we're going to just do these two systems real quick. So this is a really basic uh, resistor and capacitor, so RC, and then an RL system. So these are common um, circuits, and we'll look at how they work as, in terms of filtering. And we're going to take look at them at different frequencies, and then we're going to move to MATLAB and do a little bit more analysis. Okay, so let's just do some basic analysis here. So here again we can use, we're going to try to find the transfer function, use our basic resistor divider. So we're going to go straight to frequency domain here, and like before, 1 over CS, the impedance of this, plus R impedance of that over the impedance here, 1 over Cs. Okay, and so let's move it into the transfer function form. I misspoke already here. Sorry about that. This is the input voltage. Okay, move that over here. Put it in our standard form. Okay, and we're going to get rid of these S's on the bottom, so we're going to multiply by Cs, Cs, simplify. So we'll get 1 over 1 plus R, C, S. Okay, so here's our transfer function. And we're going to start here. Now look at it in terms of what happens as frequency. We already did this, so a quick review. Goes to 0. We get the gain. Goes to 1. And as S goes to infinity, this system goes to zero. The gain of the system goes to zero. So this is what we would call a low pass. Filter. And it allows low frequencies through and stops higher frequencies. So there's that system. Here's the one with the inductor, which is kind of the opposite of a capacitor. So let's just do the same analysis real quick. Okay, so same thing again here, this impedance, which is Ls for an inductor, and then these two impedances added together, Ls. Okay, put this in, it's already in a very nice form. And actually, yeah, we're going to do it here. V out over S, V in over S, and we're just going to flip these around to put this in Ls first plus R. And this is going to be our transfer function for that. And actually, I'm just going to rewrite this. I'm going to flip these around. Uh, this would be slightly more of a the standard form that we tend to use, RCS plus 1. And when we put this into MATLAB, you'll see why I'm doing this. OK, so let's just do this quick analysis with this one real quick. As S goes to 0, we hit zero as the total gain, because this goes to zero. And add S goes to infinity, so very high frequencies. These two terms dominate, and we go towards one. Right, OK. And so this would be a high pass, because high frequencies are allowed to go through the gain is 1, the signal ma is maintained, and low frequencies like DC, the signal is dampened to 0. So this would be a high pass and a low pass. So we're using all symbols here. Let's think, let's assign some real values, and then we're going to put these figures into MATLAB and actually look at a Bode plot. So let's pick some values here. We're going to go R equals 1 kilo ohm, and L equals 100 millihenries, and the capacitance is equal to 500 microfarads. In MATLAB, we will now make our transfer functions and plot the Bode plot. First, let's assign our real values of R, L, and C to in MATLAB. So R is 1 kilo ohm, 1 E3, 
the inductance value is 100 millihenries E negative 3. The capacitance is 500 microfarads. And on our right, we can see that our values are assigned. So now let's make the transfer functions. Let's start with the RC circuit. So G, P, RC. And to make the transfer function, we use the function TF, transfer function. And the first part should be the numerator. We want the coefficients of the numerator. Here we just put a 1 because we want a 1 in the numerator. And in the denominator, we want RC S plus 1. So we have to do R times C for the S coefficient and 1 for the constant. If we press enter here, we should see our system come up here and we can check that it's correct. Now to plot the Bode plot, all we have to do is put Bode of our function, so GP of RC press enter and we should get our nice Bode plot here and we can confirm that at low frequencies looking at the magnitude we have a magnitude of in dB it's zero but it's equivalent to a one so it's high pass at low frequencies and as we go to higher frequencies it goes towards zero so it is a low pass filter. What's next look at the second transfer function. So we're going to go back to, we're going to up a little bit. We're going to start from this transfer function. This time we're going to do the RL. We're just going to edit this. So in the numerator, this time we want LS. So we need to make L for the coefficient of the S, and then there's no constant, so we make a zero here. Then for the bottom, we need L times S, plus R. Okay, so that should be correct. Let's press enter here and make sure that this is correct, and it is. Great. So now we can simply use the Bode plot function again. Go back to symbols we already used. Multiply or do this correct function. So we're looking at the RL function this time. Press enter. We should get the Bode plot again. And this time we can see the opposite. At low frequencies, we have a low magnitude meaning that those frequencies do not pass through, whereas at high frequencies, it goes towards 0 dB, which is 1. So it's a high pass filter. We can check that through the Bode plot. We'll be using these later on when we do frequency analysis, but now you can use MATLAB to find the transfer function and then find the Bode plot for that transfer function.